everyone and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by TSET. I'm Heidi. I am here with Chef Val from OUTU School of Community Medicine. I always like to get that out there. <laughs> All right, we are in summer. So tell us what we're making today. So we need a sweet, cold treat yes. for summertime, right? So you can make a, just any flavor, any flavor combination that trips your trigger, okay? Okay. But we are going to do um, some mango, a little bit of yogurt, some lime juice and zest and honey and make some popsicles. Perfect. It's totally and easy. We, yesterday we made several kinds. We made um, a little bit of yogurt and dark cherry. Okay. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, and this is just based on the ingredients when you were listing them, is just trying to avoid all the artificial flavorings and the sugars and things like that. You're just finding healthy options. Right. This is natural sugar, natural color, um, and a natural sweetener. You still have to be um, careful with honey. I mean, it still has right. calories. But it sure is good. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> so we're going to go in with just a little bit of honey, and then we're going to use some lime zest and okay. lime juice. And the yogurt is going to give it a little bit of that acidity that we're looking for, too. Okay. And again, this is like any flavoring that you might like, particular fruit, doesn't matter. It's just a nice cold treat for the summer for kids, adults, everybody. Right. All right. So I'm just going to blend this a little bit. Okay. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is a nice liquidy um, mixture. If you don't get it liquidy enough, okay. um, then it won't freeze as solid as it needs to. Oh, that's true. So we're just gonna fill these. Okay. And it's a little bit of a messy process. Maybe there is an easier way to do it. So you're just filling them up and then obviously you're sticking them in the freezer. Yep, we're sticking them in the freezer. And I'm gonna say that several hours or even overnight is best. And so these little um, popsicle molds, you don't have to have these fancy ones. These are silicone, put the stick right in there like okay. this. Freeze, like I said, a few hours or at least overnight. These molds, um, they just came from Amazon. They cost about $15. But okay. popsicles, I mean, especially the fruit popsicles, they're fairly expensive at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, not like your flavor ice, okay? Those are cheap. Right. We're going right. to be honest. But those are just sugar. But the actual, like, true fruit bars right. have some of that in there where it's they're more expensive. Right, and so they're, they are more expensive, and so making your own much more economical. That's true. So, so we I made several, time. yes. And it does beat the plastic ice cube tray from back in the day. Okay, and, and you still could do that. You absolutely could do that, <laughs> you though. you could do, yes. yes. Okay, so there's a few, oops, I lost some yep, of it. that's a cherry um, yogurt, like a cherries and cream. And this one it was just our smoothie that we've made on air before, so it's just um, uh, frozen berries, kale, um, oh, really? Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of citrus in there. So you can get there. a little bit of everything in these popsicles, yes. and the kids aren't going right. to make These gonna even know. have protein powder in them. Ah. They even, yeah. Perfect. All right. I'm going to, I don't okay, know which one. one. I don't Whichever know which one to try. Mm, they're so good. That one's really yummy. It's very good, and yes. it's like having a regular popsicle, but yet you're getting some of those healthy alternatives in right. there at the same time. Thank you so much, as always. Um, if you want to learn more about these recipes or any of the other recipes and enjoy a sweet summer treat, go ahead and head to KJRH.com.